These days, people are questioning the quality of American products, but nobody questions the quality of the Joffrey Ballet. And you must meet its director, Robert Joffrey. Join us. The idea for having my own ballet company began in Seattle, Washington, when I was about 10 years old. And in 1956, I formed a small company of six dancers. And uh, they went on a tour, a one-night stand tour. At that time, I couldn't even see the company because I was teaching. I remember waving goodbye to them, and off they went with a tape recorder and their costumes in the back of the station wagon. Bob had always had uh, an American dream. It's the first company, I think, to really come out of its own soil. We finally developed the 12 dancers. From 12 dancers, then we had two wonderful pianists. Then we had a little orchestra of 10, and we had 20 dancers. Would you fill a... A gymnasium well, or we, we, you know, we played in auditoriums, we went to high schools, mm -hmm. ladies' musical clubs. I mean, we danced anywhere that they would let us. And I hope it's an incentive to other young people to accept the challenge, the gauntlet, to go forward, to know that it can be done. Little by little, we never start as a large company, nor do we have an angel, a sponsor. Mm -hmm. One who really invested in the company were the dancers. They were the ones. For the beginning, I never could pay them for rehearsals. It wasn't until 1963 or 64 that we could even pay them. They ironed their own costumes. They set up the lights. They would uh, drive the car on the tour. Yeah. So it really is the dancers who have helped make this company and still do make the company what it is. I think what's important is exposure, people seeing dance. And when you realize that how few people have seen dance, that what you're doing is you're opening the horizons for dance. Yeah. And the more we do it, the more appreciation there will be for dance.